They do anything for club. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. How we doing? How we doing? How we What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube? This is me pretty much just finishing a motherfucking stream. So, hey, this is going to be a Q&A video with me and Tindy Girl. Cat, who's upstairs. She's always chilling upstairs while I'm streaming. It comes down watches me while I say all the stupid crazy shit I do. And, uh, yeah, you guys got some questions for me. Got some questions for her. I'll show you guys the crib a little bit. And we can get this bit started. But before we get this bit started, you already know. So make sure you like, make sure you sub, make sure you comment. Because I'm always reading the comments. What is it up with YouTube? YouTube, you guys are so fucking wholesome. Man, is this like a family channel? It's like, hey, Mike, great work. Keep up the great work. Really like you. Really, you're amazing. You're so tall, handsome. And your nose is really small. I mean, yeah, small. And then, I, and then I launch on Twitch. Where the fuck were you? You're fucking 30 minutes late. Holy shit. You wow, my ADD is terrible. Why did I put you guys down? Ah, yes. To hit the motherfucking car. Hey! Come ah, up, the... Fuck off! Hey! Look who it is. Damn! This bitch clean as hell. Holy shit. We just did a cooking stream. Hold. I didn't help you clean? No. I threw a, uh, I put a, uh, a fork in the, um, in that thing. Ooh, look at this though. Look at the schedule, chat. Well, late, 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 late to stream. Late day off, don't know why. Showing tits on stream, seven day ban, late, late. Late, late. Day off because late. Day off because late. Hey, but hey, 7K subs. Ooh. So, hey, we got a crazy amount of questions and we're here to answer them. So, we got questions for her, questions for me, dual questions that you asked both of us. We're here to answer them. Have you ever caught for YouTube? Not for YouTube. Yeah, you question. trying to do it with me right now? You trying to hit the C to the A to the motherfucking seven W's? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. I did not expect that. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> ready for these questions? I'm ready. You guys better not let me down. I'm literally pulling these up. Got a, got a few sent to me from Pure the Motherfucking Editor. Shout out to that dog. All right, by Sammy LaBelle. First question of the day. Hey, Daddy Heel. My question is, have you and Kat did the dirty little nasty, and how big is that dicky? Love you, Kat, and keep grinding the streams, Michael. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is this? My, my dicky is two inches from the floor. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, but I'm... All right, Brian, B-R-Y-S-X-N. What? Have you smashed Kat? Jesus fuck! Brian! Brian! <laughs> BJ Ray. BJ X Ray. So the guy named BJ has the first wholesome question. He goes, hey, hey Kat, hey Mike, what is the one thing you guys have no patience for? Ooh! Would you like to tackle this one first? No, I have no patience for you. Your answer is just me. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. This is me standing, actual height. I'm 5'9". As you can see, I can barely even fucking get in the camera. Look at me. I'm a fucking giant. He's, but he's 5'2. I'm 4'11. That is that is a lie. I'm 5'9. Five, I'm five what do I have no patience for? Liars. Boom. <laughs> Perfect fucking segue. He said, what was your first date with Mike like? So when I first met Mike, we matched on Tinder and he said, hold me while we watch horror movies. And I was like, the fuck does that mean? And I was interested. Like, don't get me wrong. I was intrigued. So I was like, fuck it. I'll meet this guy. I saw that he matched with me on stream and like, I don't know, I was like intrigued and I wanted to like just meet him in person. So I came over and mind you, I had never done anything like this before. I had never gone to somebody's house, literally like an hour away from me in an Uber, like no going back at that point, like three in the morning, um, got here. Everything was super awkward. He was like, you wanna see the crib? I was like, okay. Um, so he showed me around and that was really it. Uh, it got to a point where we were starving 
and there was no fucking food in the house, so I had to cook him rice. Like, I cooked him a bowl of rice, and uh, yeah, that was our first day. That's really, really nothing else happened, I mean. And after a bowl of rice, she hopped on this car! Kidding, 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 kidding. Roommates, roommates. Kidding, 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 roommates. But from there, our friendship blossomed. Yo, you want to see something fucking cringe? Hit him with it. Hit him. Tell, tell, okay. tell them what you love. We love Fortnite. 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 Fuck yeah! All right, I'm back, and I got another question. The soccer kid. Okay, soccer kid. Let's see what you soccer got cooking. Skin. He goes, "Hey, what made you start Twitch and YouTube?" So I started Twitch first. Um, believe it or not, it was dumb fuck right here. I did go to college. So I went to college. Went to college at Sacred Heart University, Connecticut. Place is fucking lit. Loved it. Went there for management, did pretty good. Uh, I got a scholarship to grad school. Fucking dope, no, no student loans, boys! And then and none of my friends went to grad school with me because they just went to go get jobs and shit like that. And while I was in grad school, I was like, well, I already partied for four years in college. Do I just party again? And then be like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta work my nine to five. What I'll do instead, I'll just pick up a hobby. I was really good at Fortnite when it first came out. So then when the game got to almost like season four, I just was like, all right, I'm in grad school. I'm gonna start streaming it. Hardest I've worked ever in my fucking life. I would drive to Sacred Heart, drive back to Massachusetts just to stream three hours. But I really wanted to do it. Um, and I really liked it and it made my day even if there was six people watching because I was like holy shit That's six motherfuckers and then the twitch started getting big. I think I started YouTube when I hit 100k On twitch. I was like why the fuck am I not doing YouTube did YouTube? Uh, I love YouTube now YouTube's fun shout out to the YouTube boys. Yeah, and I just love it now I was grinding working my ass off and to this day, I, I literally fucking love it. I still work my ass off, but it doesn't even feel like that anymore because the highlights of my day are with you, motherfuckers. Wholesome Mike, wholesome Mike, aw. So good question, bro, good question, good question. Yo, what's up, Harry? We got some more questions. Cat's doing something, looking all pretty for a second. So I'm gonna ring off some rapid fire questions, but before I do that, we got some more motherfuckers just asking similar questions like before. Ah, uh, what inspired me to streaming? Rodeo kept me from streaming. Kept, kept me streaming to add something that Anthony said. Anthony also said, was I working? Fun fucking fact. I used to work at Jerry Springer before I was a streamer. Uh, I worked junior, senior, and a little bit of grad school, and I quit in grad school to do streaming. I might just have to do a fucking video one day and just tell you guys my adventures of Jerry Springer because the amount of stories I have from working there is, is literally fucking insane. Mirror Galaxy says, Hey Mike, so why do you fill your vodka bottles with water and act like it's vodka when it's really not? Uh, Mirror Galaxy, go look in a mirror and throw up because you're looking at yourself. Shut the fuck up, kid. I don't do that. I'm a real motherfucker. And then we got motherfucking Renegade saying, where did you come up with the name Heel Mike? I'm a wrestling fan. Heel means the bad guy. My name is Mike. Yes, I guess it's bad guy Mike. My boy, code something, hashtag ad said, hey Mike, how'd you meet Clicks? Clicks was running wagers on stream when I was like a 100 viewer streamer. Uh, he was just running wagers. It was when wagers blew up on Fortnite. I rolled through, trolled the whole thing, trolled Clicks. Me and Clicks kicked off, and now he's like a younger brother than me. We got I saying, when did you start working? I started working out strictly when going to college, because when you're going to college, there's a lot of competition. Dudes are fucking huge. You know, when you're in that age, you, know, you gotta look good for the ladies to try to get the ladies. Jay said, when you was a kid, what did you want to do when you get older? Wanted to be an actor. Hold up, I'm spitting. I'm shitting on your balls unwritten. Yo, bitch on my dick and she licking. While you stay with her and stay simping. I'm pimping, I'm sipping a deep toe. And I got like three hoes and they all deep throw. From the west to the motherfucking east coast. Cause I'm going beast mode. Only open that shit if I check through the peephole. Okay, I'm, what the fuck am I? Ah, why are you calling? Oh, serious talk. How did you deal with your parents getting cancer? So, um, RIP healed dad. Uh, my dad did pass. If you don't know before, when I was around in high school, my mom and my dad got cancer. I did, I dealed with it pretty fucking bad when I was, uh, when I was younger, when I was younger. Um, I became a punk. I was a fucking douchebag to a lot of people who were trying to get close to me. But as I matured and grew older, I knew just being there for them and just knowing like, no matter how much I fight with someone, no matter how much like I love them, you know, and you never, you never know what you have something until that something could just disappear. So all the things they did for you, you got to keep that in the back of your mind and do that shit in return and mature. As hippie shit as it sounds, mentality is a big process to beating something like that. 
if they're feeling down all the time and you're not there for them and you're feeling down and they just see you down, they, they might feel like their sickness or death is causing negativity and bad energy and just, just act. try to make them smile because having a positive mindset during dark times makes those dark times get a little light over till the sunlight eventually comes. Another question, what is your backstory to the call? So first ever stream, uh, I was playing Fortnite. There was a thing called Impulse Grenades. Pure, if you could get this clip, put it in right now. I'm a fucking eagle. That is it. I just threw that shit on the ground and uh, I just instinctively fucking went, I'm a motherfucking eagle, baby. Ha! And it was like, 15 people in my chat first ever stream and they just went Kah! so i was like oh shit so it just became a motherfucking thing so yeah motherfucking car baby how long did it take to get ripped literally you could change your body very very quick dude it, it really takes me like it took me three months two months to get like really really good shape how did i meet my big man q if you guys don't know q q's gonna be on the youtube channel soon he's a massive hit on Twitch. He's my best friend since forever. He's crazy. Play some clips now with a big fucking man. Pretty much, dude. We were both dumb as fuck. And to get to high, uh, to get to high school, we both had to do summer school because we pretty much did awful in our different middle schools. We met in summer school. I was, I had a beanie on with some Monopoly shoes. I think we were like freestyling or something. You, we kicked off with that. We just vibe at the same humor and everything. What do I want to accomplish in 2020? I don't even fucking know. As ridiculous as it sounds, I don't know, maybe a million subs on YouTube, a million fucking follows on Twitch. It's not gonna happen, but I'd rather fucking, you know, I, dis, I, I don't believe in setting myself short and then feeling good when I over accomplish that set short. Because hell, I didn't even think I'd be at 250K in one fucking year and 125 in what? How long have I had YouTube? Five months, six months? It's fucking nuts. It's nuts, dude. And uh, I'll be posting a video of how I did all that growth and just some tips and tricks and some mindset shit for y'all, so. Now, um, the cat's downstairs. I said we'd go see the cutie patootie. I mean, the roommate. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Who was I carrying? That was me. That was me. <laughs> you fucking. You good? What? Oh. <laughs> oh no. You fucking toxic fuck. See what you got. The pressure's on. You're pushing a fucking tank. What's out? There's a reaper. Left. Get. Get fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh. Get fucked. No way. Exotic Bat says, what was your favorite video game when you were little? For both of us. I loved Oblivion, um, and I also loved Jack and Dexter, and... Battlefront? Battlefront. I fucking love Battlefront. Oh, Battlefront, Battlefront was the was shit. shit. Well, I'm more of a fucking... Oh, get fucked! No, let's go! Let's get it! Easy fucking Easy class! Go! My favorite games growing up, let's see. Kid Mario 64 on the uh, Paper Mario. Paper, yeah, Paper, Paper Mario, Mario Thousand Years Door. Banjo Kazooie. Oh, Super Smash Brothers. And then uh, I guess in my later Gears of War one and fucking Halo two. Favorite games. And then next fucking question is what is the most useful thing that you own and can't live without? My PC. You think so? Okay, my dildo. The dildo? The dildo. The dildo, that PC close second? PC is close second, the dildo. Same answer for me. See you guys next video. No, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah, talk about the ring and how you're so cheating on your So me and Mike husband. are getting married. Um, we are getting married in July, no, I'm kidding. It's from my grand, it's my grandfather's tie pin. It's like a pearl. My grandmother had it encased in gold because my grandfather was my best friend. My, uh, my thing, I guess, Sentimental wise, definitely the two things on my fucking wrist. That's why I wear them so much. Cause I bought this, kind of like how my dad did. When my dad first started like making money and, and what he did when he started making money was he bought this Rolex. Even like he could afford it, but it was technically a, a reckless purchase at the time. It was one of those things. And I did the same thing. 
even though he would always make fun gay of me. Gay bracelet. Yeah, my the fucking chat calls it gay bracelet. <laughs> you read 7K subs. Yeah. So you gotta get a tattoo with me again. Oh. So we're doing the tattoo vlog part two. Go. When the quarantine ends. I'm dragging his ass back to that tattoo parlor, and we're getting tattoos together because 7K on Twitch is a big deal. And yeah, that's fucking it. nuts. He I did promised. say, I did say, I said it because I didn't think it would fucking happen, and it fucking happened. Go follow her, go follow my Twitch. I'm alive pretty much every night. I'm a night streamer. Uh, we're slowly, she's been trying to get me down to like 9 p.m. ish. I've been. I've got him, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been helping me. I threatened to him, like, if he doesn't get more on time, I'm not gonna eat his ass anymore. And I gotta tell you, like, it's not really like working as fast as I thought it would, but it's working. Like slowly but surely. I'll be live at 9 p.m. Eastern time, alright? No if fans and motherfucking butts. I love you guys. See you in the next motherfucking video. And as always. I lay to be. God, if you guys really want to make my day, you guys should like and subscribe this video and then go to Heal Mike's Twitch and then uh, follow his Twitch because he's live every day and then uh, steal your mom's credit card and sub to his Twitch so you get no ads and emotes and then you should give some subs because uh, you care about the community, don't you? So you better give some subs too.